Hey everybody, it's Miss Keeter. Hope you had a really good time over spring break or you did something for yourself. Maybe you learned something new or maybe you just slept a lot, which I guess is okay too. Today was hard to kind of get up because it's so rainy and it's Monday and we're back to school after this week long. But um, I've been answering a lot of questions today. Uh, been doing mostly questions either online or through Canvas or through Remind, which is great. That's what I'm here for. Please keep communicating. Please keep reaching out to me and asking questions. Um, but I thought I would do a small tutorial video to help you navigate through our Canvas courses. So we're going to take a look at that today just in case you have any questions of what to do or maybe things look a little different from when you came back after last week. So you get to your dashboard in <clears throat> on Canvas and you're going to pick a class. So we're picking our Earth Science class. So I'll flip over to that. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the student view so that you're looking at what you normally look at on this video. So this is our home page for our class. Uh, it defaults straight to there, so it's going to let you know what your daily announcements are. They're going to pop up, so you don't have to go searching for those. You can It's going to come right up there for you. The last most recent three announcements will be on this web page, um, on this particular home page in Canvas. Uh, over here on the right, it's wonderful. I am seeing where you're posting replies. I've answered a lot of the replies already today, and since I started working on this video, I've gotten four more from today's announcement, which is great. Thank you for the communication. I really appreciate that, and I think it's good that we are um, reaching out to each other. But So when you get to this page and you see the daily announcement for today, you can click on that particular announcement, and it will come up. And of course, it will have our, our title and it will have some kind of message or anything from me that you uh, I need for you to focus on or I need for you to kind of take a look at. So I'll highlight those things. And then it'll have our agenda for the day, what the day's assignments are. So of course, it's Monday, so we have week 10 vocabulary on this one. And so you'll just go ahead and start your digital dictionary. You know it's not due until Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, and then you can use it for your quiz on Friday. Then I'll have, uh, you can either print out or make an electronic copy of any of the files that I send to you. So like this one, the weather and the troposphere notes, you can either go to that, make a copy, and save it in your Earth and Environmental Science folder. Or if you have a printer at home and you prefer to print it out with a hard copy, you can do that and then put it in your notebook, which is fine. Um, the thinking map is going to actually be an assignment. So we'll have the assignment there. Um, and you can either print that out. And then when you're ready to turn it in through Canvas, I can show you different ways of turning that in through Canvas. So we'll talk about that when we get to it. Okay, and it does say for submit the thinking map through Canvas for record of completed work. I want to make sure that we save things in not only if you do it electronically, go ahead and save it in your Earth and Environmental Science folder, but also then upload it into Canvas. If you take pictures, save the pictures in your Earth and Environmental Science folder and upload it into Canvas. I know that may be, you know, double time on the work. But I just want to make sure that we have your work and we've got a record of that for when we have to put the code in of, of whether you pass or don't pass this particular class. So I just want to make sure that we have all that evidence. Okay. Um, so once you've got that, a pretty good strategy if you need some help with organization. Um, you've got four classes that are sending you announcements every day. So maybe a, a suggestion is to take an old notebook and put it beside the computer that you're working on or somewhere that it's your workspace. And if, you ha if you're having to pick up your announcements off of your phone because a brother or sister is using the laptop or computer at the time, you can look at your announcements 
in that notebook, write down the date, write down the class, and write down what you need to do for that day and go through all of your announcements. Then you have that notebook and you can go and do something, you know, with that. You can, if it requires the computer, you can use it later on and you've got that with you and you don't have to keep going back into the announcements. But you've got that list. So once you've got what you're going to do for the day, the best thing to do is go to modules. Click over here on the left hand side to modules, still in Canvas, and modules is going to come up. Think of modules like units. What are the different units that we've been doing? So we have our units, and you can close some of these out. We had our welcome, all the information from the very beginning of class that we did when we were actually in class. Then there's their vocabulary. We have unit one, unit two, unit three that we've gotten through. And now we're in unit four with meteorology. And so today is, I'm going to try to organize the units by day and date to help you find those. If somebody asked me to do that instead of by week, by day and date, I'm going to do that by, and you'll find it there. So here, when you look here, if you see this particular symbol, see the little paper, it says assignment right there. That's actually something that you're going to have to upload, you're going to have to send in to Canvas, okay? If it's this one, it's just a link. And that one is something for you to have, like our, our notes and our presentations and things like that. I've never graded your notes. Your notes have always been for you. Uh, I checked to see if you had them when I did notebook checks. But these things are for you, so you don't actually have to submit those things to me. Those are for you to be able to use as we go through. So the presentation is just like our PowerPoints and the notes are just like our, our notes and handouts that I give you in class that we have that are fill in the blank. Um, so you can use those. You can make an e-file of them and type on them yourselves, make a copy of it, or you can print it if you have a printer at home and do hard copy. Whichever one you want to do, it's whatever works for you the best. Then, like this one here, this is a, an assignment. Um, of course, this is our digital dictionary, but this is actually an assignment as well. So you'll look at that particular assignment today, and this assignment tells you, you know, print or make an electronic copy of the file and save it in your e-folder. So here's where you're going to click, and it'll go to that. It'll tell you what to do. Um, use your annotations to complete. You're going to read the article. We don't use a textbook, and I don't usually give you a whole lot of stuff to read, so very rarely do we have this. Click on the file, and it'll bring up the file that I have shared with you. One of the ways that you can make sure that you have it is, of course, when you come over here to File, don't forget, you do File, Make a Copy. Make a copy. And you can put your name on it, you can leave it as copy of, whatever you would like to do as it comes up with make a copy. Okay. You want to make sure that you put it in, a, in your Earth and Environmental Science folder, so make sure you move it to that one. And obviously it will share with me, so I can always see what's there. And then you just hit OK. okay. So, with that, when you're finished, you can then either, as you're going down here, it's a one page, and as you type in your answers there on that thinking map that you use from the article, you can either then upload, when you come to the assignment, you can either upload here, it will say submit assignment, there, and it will, you can either Upload, choose a file to upload your e-folder out of your Earth and Environmental Science folder. Or if you did it hard copy and you took a picture with your phone or you took a picture with, I don't know, your computer, whatever you have, um, then you can just upload the picture that has your answers. And several of you have done that, and that's great. I can read those. I try to keep... Um, your answers and stuff. The web quests are pretty long, but I try to keep them short and I'll be more cognizant of that one. So 
Um, if you need help remembering all of this uh, with this particular video or there's also a click here if you need help on how to upload Canvas assignments so it'll go through and tell you exactly what to do to upload on the Canvas assignment and I've got that as well. Okay, so we've got that so you know that you can go through and we can do our assignments. We can, we've got our home page, we've got our announcements, we've got our assignments grades. Now you guys know that I cannot I cannot put grades into PowerSchool. Actually I can't even access PowerSchool right now. Um, so I'm putting grades in through Canvas. It's more of a point system and it's more like completion points. If you completed it then you know you get points for it um, if there's blanks, I usually highlight those blanks and um, make a comment on your uh, when I'm grading them or send you a message or something like that. If you don't turn anything in, then it's obviously it's zero. At the end of the semester, whether we go back May 18th or whether we don't, I don't know, but we're hoping to go back May 18th, we will be looking at how much work and how much participation each student actually did. Did they keep up with it and they turn things in? Because it's kind of a pass-fail. We'll be doing a PC-19, which is pass, or WC-19, which means withdrew. So they will withdraw you from that class. I don't think it will hurt your grade point average in any way, but you will have to take the class over again. So we want to make sure what we go through these. So these are the ones. It tells you when the due dates were. It tells you how many points. And they'll tell you how many are scored out of this. Okay. So like with the, you know, the atmospheric play plaza. And if there's any kind of comments or anything else, you can click on those kinds of things. So your grades will tell you. So look here on your grades and say, hey, you know, I've turned that in because the status may be turned in and there may not be a score for it. Well, maybe that's because I already graded the classes and yours was turned in late and I need to go back and regrade it. So just kind of, you know, respectfully remind me that I need to go back in and take a look at it again. Um, or you turned it in and there's still a zero there. Obviously that means I haven't, haven't gone back and regraded a second or third time. Okay, so you're going to be looking at all of these. You can Look, and these are all for R5 right now. Um, it's not going into PowerSchool because I can't put it there, but it is kind of giving me a way to determine if you're a PC-19 or if you're a WC-19. Okay? All right, so there we are with Home, Announcements, Assignments, Grades, and modules. Those are mainly the ones that we are using. So if you have any kinds of questions, if you need any help, please make sure that you just send me a remind text. You can send me an email. Uh, you can send me a message through Canvas and just communicate with me. Just talk to me and let me know. You know that communication is always important with me and I will work with you any way that I can. Okay. All right. Let me know. I'll set up and see you guys on Zoom. Um, I'll send out an office hours Zoom link. If you need me, I'm there. If you don't, it's okay. If you just want to stop by and say hello, we can do that too. But um, I will check with you guys and let me know if you need anything. Miss seeing everybody's faces. Y'all stay safe.